My name is Stefan. I'm a PM on the remote desktop services team. And what I want to show you today is how I'm going to take my existing host pool that has one VM and add additional two VMs to that host pool. First thing is let's navigate to my, the management tool and observe the current state of my host pool. Here is the host pool for my demonstration, the Win 10X host pool, and you can see it has one VM that is currently registered in that host pool. What we're going to go ahead uh, and do right now is go into the management portal and here is my resource group that has that one particular VM. From here, we're going to go to the Azure Marketplace. And in the Marketplace, I will uh, we'll open, in this case, the preview template, but it's the same template that you have uh, at your public disposal. Click on that template, click Create. Once Azure is done parsing the UI, we'll see it on the screen. And the first thing we need to enter is the resource group. Since we are adding to an existing environment, we need to make sure that we're using the same resource group. Go and copy the value, paste it. Now the location, I'm also going to go and cross-reference cross it, central US. Now the name of the host pool, let's go into the management UI, grab the name of the host pool. I do not want to specify any default desktop users because I haven't done that the first time when I ran the ARM template. We proceed further. Now here is asking me for the count of users and the size of the VM. Now the size of the VM that I would like to choose should match the one that I already have in the host pool. And in the host pool I have a D8SV3. So make sure we remove the filters and in the search put a D8. S3, we'll select that one. Now there's a calculation here that happens automatically. I already have one VM, so I would need two VMs. So let's drop that down to uh, the moment when the count's gonna be two. Still not two. Okay, and you can see two VMs. So I already have one deployed. This seems like it's gonna deploy two, but actually the script is smart enough to see that one of the VMs is already present and we'll just deploy the second one. And the smartness actually relies on the name of the VMs, the prefix matching. So that, that this is very important. You've got to make sure that we're using the same prefix. And the way the logic works in the back of the ARM template is appends a dash zero zero, so, uh, sorry, a dash zero dash one dash two etc. to the name. Now we'll go ahead and verify the virtual machine settings. So I'm going to enter my credentials here. Now once I have the credentials, another key moment is making sure that I select the same VNet as the VNet where my existing VM is and my domain controller is connected to. And just to verify, AD VNet, AD subnet, same data here. Excellent. Move on. Now it's asking me for my Windows virtual desktop information. Here we need to specify the tenant name. I'm going to go back into the management UI and here I have my tenant name. Make sure I enter that one correctly. Uh, if any of those values doesn't match what we already have, we'll just get a new set of deployment. It wouldn't be in the same host pool. So you have to be extremely careful. And again, credentials for performing registration with the Windows Virtual Desktop service. Once all the data has been entered, I'm going to click Review and Create. This will hopefully pass the validation by the Azure portal. Excellent. We have passed the validation, kick off the deployment. You can see it's starting. Let's go and take a look. It's going on. So this is going to take about five to 10 minutes and I'm not going to have you wait with me here. So let's, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and resume once the deployment is done. Finally, the deployment has completed. I'm going to go into the resources that have been provisioned. And you can see it is the same resource group, but now instead of one VM, I have two VMs. And it's not that the script provisioned two VMs. It saw that the one VM was already there since the, all the input parameters matched the previous time I, I ran this. And it just incremented the count and provisioned a new VM for me. 
Now let's go into the management UI and make sure that here we, once I refresh, we are able to see two session, sorry, two session hosts. And you can see I have Win10x0 and Win10x1. Win so by running the ARM template for creating a host pool one time, I was able to provision one VM. I ran it a second time with exact same input. I just increased the total count of VMs to two and the script was smart enough to see that uh, one VM was already present and provisioned just one. If I've provided five as the desired uh, amount of VMs, I was going to see that one is there and we'll provision four. And this is how you can add VMs to an existing host pool by running the create ARM template. Thank you.